Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at the story of Jeremiah from the Old Testament. I think that this is quite a challenging story. When we read the passage in Jeremiah, we hear that the people, Jeremiah's people, faced difficulties. There was things like war, famine, disease, bad things that they found difficult to cope with. I think that in our lives, there are things that we find difficult too. So maybe this passage would speak to us and has something to say for us in 2020. In the story, Jeremiah and another prophet is with another prophet and a group of priests. And the other prophet, Hananiah, says to the priests that everything is going to be OK. All of the difficulties, the burdens that they have are going to be OK. And he says not to worry. But Jeremiah Jeremiah says he hopes that that is so. He prays that that will be the case, that things will be good. But he's also realistic. He says that for for many, many years, prophets have said that people will face difficulties. And he is realistic in saying that it is likely that they are going to face difficult things in their lives too. So rather than saying that everything will be okay, he's more realistic in the fact that there will be difficulties that they have to face. I've got here this bucket and I'd like to imagine that this bucket is like our lives and that we carry around a container like this bucket. When it's empty and no nothing inside it, the bucket can be quite easy to carry around. However, when we have the difficult things and the burdens, they can start to fill the bucket and make it heavier. There might be things in our lives that make it heavier, and that's like water, that things like maybe school and exam stresses, that the water would start to fill the bucket and make it heavier. It could be work stresses or arguments that you've had with friends. These all keep filling up the bucket and making it heavier for us to carry. We have to carry those burdens around during our lives. And the more that it fills up, the heavier it can be for us to carry. So we have this bucket which carries our burdens and our stresses. I want you to take a minute to think, what are the things that are difficult in your life? What are the stresses that are filling up your container that you are carrying around? Take a moment, perhaps pause this video, and maybe you want to write down some thoughts or talk with the other people. What are the things in your life which you find difficult? Okay, so we have a choice to make in our lives. We all have our stress buckets, our burdens that we are carrying around, but we have a choice to make. Do we take the Hananiah route and we say that everything is going to be all right? Or do we take Jeremiah's route, recognising that difficulties are part of our lives, that they are going to be with us, but looking at how best we can carry those burdens and how we can make them easier to bear. The risk if we go down the Hananiah route and that we hope that everything will be okay, is that we risk that our burdens do keep filling up our bucket and we have to carry them round. And if we're not careful, the bucket can be so full that it overflows. So what can we do in our lives to help ease our burdens and make them easier to to carry? Not that we will get rid of the stresses completely, but to make them a little easier. Imagine we had a tap on the side of this bucket or some holes, which would help to drain the bucket that the water would would pour out from. So even though the water is being filled up, it will start to drain. These are like our coping mechanisms and things that we can put in place in our lives that God puts in place in our lives, which can help carrying our burdens more easy. It could be things like talking to somebody else, an adult or someone you trust about your issues, perhaps planning in some time in your routine for relaxation or doing an activity that you like. These things will be different for everybody it's important that we know the ways that help us to cope with our burdens.
Again, let's spend some time to think about that. Pause this video and think about the things that help you cope when things are difficult and when you have stresses. Write them down and share them with others. So we're told in the Bible that God will be with us. We know that God, we're, later on in Jeremiah, we're told that God has a plan for us and that's a plan for us to prosper and for us to have a future. So although we don't know what stress is and what burdens we might have in the future, we can trust that God does and trust that God will put the coping mechanisms in place and our strategies fill us with ways and people that can help us, like the tap or the holes in the bucket, to help managing our burdens and our stresses more easily. It's not saying that they will go away, that you won't face difficulties in your life. But we know we can trust in God that he will help us and make those manageable and easier to bear. So let us end in prayer. Dear Lord, we know that we face difficulties in our lives, but we are really thankful that you are with us, that you give us the coping strategies and we can trust that you will not make off that you will help us to carry our burdens that you will be like the tap and the holes in our bucket that help to drain the stresses and the burdens from our lives and that we can trust in you for our plans for the future amen <laughs>